Welcome to the Shine Your Light Network with host and founder, Robin Nicole. And I believe that we all have something special inside of us. And if we go deep into our heart and find out what makes our heart sing, we end up finding little sparks of light, joy, and passion. Once you find that spark, that passion inside of you, I believe it's our job to go out into the world and shine our light as bright as possible. When you do this, the whole world shines along with you and you begin to make a difference, make a change in a positive way. This is what the Shiny Light Network is all about. I have been guided to go out into the world and find the people that are doing it that have found out what makes their heart sing and are following their inner guidance. Because what I have learned, if you surround yourself with those who are out there manifesting their dreams, the people who are uplifting and empowering themselves and others, that they tend to lift you up and help you go inside and find your passion. They spark something inside that can help you begin to follow your dreams. Here on the Shine Your Light Network, you will find inspiring and uplifting conversations along with special video blogs from my heart to yours. Please take whatever resonates and let the rest fall away. Oh, dear shining beams of light it's May 27th 2022 and I came out to the forest today I it's a little chilly so I didn't bring a um, sweatshirt with me and so I have my uh, Harry Potter blanket that I had in my bag so I put my blanket over me um, just to kind of keep the bugs away and um, all that I haven't been out here in a while, and um, this morning when I was getting ready to drive in to go for my swim, my car didn't start, and um, basically the battery is dead, and we need a new battery or need to get jump started or whatever, Um, and so it kind of changed my plans for today, and I then decided, you know what, let's walk down to the forest. I haven't done that in a long time and I really just need to like ground into the earth and just kind of like um, just be, (laughs) just be um, with the energies. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Ireland and uh, I picked some flowers on the way down and put them into my hair. I'm just like really loving it. It's flower power day. It's spring and uh, the daisies are here. So, um, I think I would like to just take a few minutes to tell you kind of what's been happening for me over the last uh, bit of time. Uh, On May 7th, I had my first, uh, I was hosting my first Lemurian Pleiadian Starseed Circle. And um, I thought it was just going to be me going and um, like running the room for everybody so that everybody could have a nice experience. And I really didn't think that there was going to be anything happening for myself, personally. Like, I had no expectations, didn't even really think that I was even going to participate as a participant. (laughs) I was just going to be the host. And um, the numbers were a little bit off. And so there was an odd person out, and there was a person that didn't have a partner. So... I said, okay, I'll go in and, and I'll be um, a partner. So I ended up with Kathy Mason. Kathy Mason was my partner. And um, when we ran the light infusion, some pretty amazing things happened. She ended up getting like a video um, screen, which happens for Kathy. And um, during the time of my light infusion, um, she basically explained to me afterwards there was a merging of a 10th dimensional aspect of mine that was merging with me um, as a stepping stone to help me connect more with my um, with my source self 
and um, like the universal source self or whatever to make my connection stronger and um, so I guess there was like 111 angels there were dragons and their riders. There was elementals, fairies, and uh, a lot of voluminous beings. And she said that they were like all like in glee and everything about like what was going to be happening in, for my life, and um, that this merge was only just like the beginning. And um, that was on Saturday, May seventh. And then after. After that, um, it was my birthday, and um, so I turned 50 on May 8th, and uh, the day was just kind of like got away with me, and I didn't really have a chance to kind of like sit with this new aspect that merged with me uh, the day, the night before. So on Monday, so it would have been May 9th, um, I went to the swimming pool like normal. And uh, I decided I really wanted to spend some extra time in meditation and just to kind of like feel and be with this new aspect and just to kind of get to know it a little bit. And so I had no expectations about what was going to happen that day or anything. And I went into the steam room and there was a few people there. So I ended up, there was people in the sauna and I wanted to really lay in the sauna so not like I wanted to be kind of alone so I went and I sat in the steam room because like that was empty and I stayed there a little bit longer and I um, ran some energy and I just kind of like um, cleared anything that no longer um, is in service for the best for the highest best for me and um, really just cleared everything I don't know that that um, was maybe getting me in the way of doing what it, my purpose was. And so I came, I, I stayed there for a while, and then uh, finally when I moved over to the sauna, I had it all to myself, and I decided I'm going to lay down here, and I'm just going to be with this being, this aspect, um, this 10th dimensional aspect, and really to get a chance to just feel her. Or I thought it was, I felt like it was a female, but I'm not sure. Like it felt like a her. And um, so, as I'm there, I get I hear this voice, and this voice is like, "Do the dragon power or the dragon egg procedure that I did back in masterclass number five. And um, so it's just like procedure where you uh, there's this etheric egg and you kind of open up the egg and then you um, there's like a symbol the dragon power symbol kind of on the top of the egg and you um, do this you cross left to, top to bottom left to right top to bottom left to right top to bottom left to right and you then make a circle and then you um, there's like a love heart on your on your chakra and then you white light yourself and all this right well then at the end of the dragon egg procedure, which I do have on my website, robinnicole.eu, and I'll put a link in here for that because I have the, the dragon egg procedure is actually up on my free offerings, so you can come, you can experience the dragon egg procedure as well. Uh, all you need to do is just click over to my website, go to the Robin Nicole Spiritual tools and I'll put the link on there and then just go and click on that all of my procedures I give as free offerings on my on my site and um, so I did that and then um, I heard this voice tell me when it was time to kind of drink because in the procedure you drink the liquid light that's inside the dragon egg and I was basically told it's been transferred over to my water bottle so there was about like this much water in it so it's like this is a two liter and it's about half gone it was about this, this much water it was about a liter full of water and um, I was instructed to drink this liquid light and to drink all of it before I left the sauna so I'm drinking 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 <laughs> and I'm getting very hot because like I had stayed in the steam room a little bit longer than normal 
and um, so like all this like energy I guess was building and drinking the liquid light and it was kind of going through me and then when I left the um, the sauna my heart was just like pounding out of my chest and um, I was so hot I was like an inferno and um, I was like I need to go down to the water. So I'm walking down to, there's like steps that go down to the, the swimming pool. We have a few doggies that are coming over to visit. And I just say hi to them if they come through. They have, there's about five dogs. Hold on now, let's just po push pause. So like about five dogs just came down and visited me. <laughs> I had little dog treats in here for Neo because in my bag I um, had treats for Neo. So I had them all ready to go and I gave them all little treats and everything. They were quite happy with me. <laughs> um, so uh, after I got out of the, the sauna, I walked down to the swimming pool. And as I was walking down to the swimming pool, I heard this voice say, you need to immerse yourself in the water while the merge happens. And I'm like questioning, I'm like, what merge are you talking about? I thought I already had the merge with my 10th dimensional aspect. And they were like, no, you're going to be merging with all of your higher aspects and your source self right now. You need to stay under the water as long as it t for as long as it takes. So I went and I got it underneath the water and the only thing I did was come up for air like during about it was about a half an hour and all I just did was just keep coming up for air and then going back down and I had my eyes closed for a lot of it I had um there was times when I opened my eyes and as it was kind of getting towards the end my hands started to kind of like I was looking at my hands under the water and my hands started to kind of like not be human anymore. It was like the, it was like they were all, it was just light. It was like glowing light that was coming out of my hands. And then I was realizing and I was like, what is this? And then, um, and then I heard a voice say, you are light. Remember you are light. And I'm like, Oh, I am light. <laughs> and I'm going, yeah, I'm light. I'm light. Oh my God. I'm light. And so like, I had this like overwhelming, like feeling of, um, bliss. And I just can't even explain how I was feeling. It actually put me in a state that I couldn't even tell anybody about this really for a few days. And this is like my first time being able to come on and tell you guys publicly what happened because I needed to integrate this I needed to integrate this um, merging that happened I needed to embody it and I needed to spend some time with it before coming out and like telling everybody the story and um, so while I'm underneath like while I'm under there and I'm just getting I'm, I'm, I'm hearing all things are possible uh, you're the only one that was getting into your way now that is stopped you have learned how to detach from all kinds of drama you've learned how to detach and not be codependent and it's time now for you to do your full mission all things are possible i kept hearing and then my mind started kind of going because like i started writing um the children's book and i started making the oracle deck and i also am writing another book like an adult book um, with a bunch of channelings and some automatic writings and things that are that are coming through and um, I started thinking about that and then I started saying but I don't have the money to publish them like because I we have no income coming in right now really to say like nothing like we have to pay for like our living expenses I don't have the money to publish these books and I was thinking that and all of a sudden this voice said stop right now stop putting these blocks in front of you stop this if you are to create all of these things you need to stop worrying about how it's going to happen and how you're going to get there and where the money's going to come from and stop thinking all of those thoughts and just create and stop it 
everything is possible. And I was like, okay, because there's like all these things, okay? So I was like, okay. Um, so, and they're like, when you need something, it will manifest, it will show up. But you need to focus and you need to totally and completely know exactly what it is that you want to create and be very, very focused on what you want. All things are possible. I kept hearing this voice. And so I got out of the pool and I was just kind of like, I think that was on a Monday. Um, I did an interview for someone that was scheduled on a Tuesday and I remember in the interview I just couldn't even put like sentences together. I couldn't even speak. I was like fumbling over my words. I couldn't even get words pronounced. I was like really like crazy. Um, and I needed to ground this energy in. I needed to ground this in so it took me a while. And um, so now I'm finally able to speak about it and finally able to talk about what's been happening. And uh, so what's happened since? So a lot of things have happened since. I have um, all of a sudden started writing, like you wouldn't believe, um, information that's coming through. Um, I ended up um, bringing forward my next class, my master class number six, um, which is all about the Merkaba and the platonic solids and astral travel, bilocation, and um, teleportation, what's the difference between all of it. And then they, um, Metatron came in and um, helped me put together a procedure to help um, bring, to help activate people's Merkabas in a conscious way because we all astral travel like when we're sleeping and like we, our Merkabas work perfectly fine um, but like during the time when we're awake if we want to consciously um, move through the different realms um, we need to make sure that we, we actively um, spin our Merkabas and so that class came through and, um, and then they were showing me all about the platonic solids and the building blocks. I'll show you, I brought cards down to show you what the platonic solids are. Um, these are from my Amanda Ellis deck. She just so happens to have the platonic solids in her deck. I was working with Metatron the whole time. And so the platonic solids are the, 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 they're the five, they're the building blocks of, um, they're called the five platonic cells are the building blocks of everything and they all represent a different element so we have the tetrahedron which is like a pyramid and this one is for the it represents fire so we got that one and then we have the octahedron I think it is <laughs> Um, it represents air. It's like two pyramids put together upside down. That's air. Um, the icosahedron, which is like this one, and this represents water. Um, the, the hexahedron, which is also the cube, that represents earth. Got bugs in my nose. Uh, <laughs> it's great what I wanted. Um, and then we have the dodecahedron, which represents um, universal life force of ether. It's the element of ether. And um, so we have those different platonic solids. And then I was taught, like during to get the, to to the activation for the Merkaba, that. Um, Metatron's there in the different places. I don't want to give it all away, but um, Metatron is there and um, he places these platonic solids into our crown during the time when we're um, activating our Merkaba. And then um, after all of that, I started getting visions of, I had started making a dragon power uh, symbol crystal grid last year. Um, out of clay. You know how I make the crystal grids. And um, last year I started making it and then it warped and it just like never was right. So I was like, I'm going to have to make a new one. And I never got around to it. 
And so I kind of like stopped working on it. And then all of a sudden afterwards, this started coming through and I was like, oh, I need to, <laughs> I need to uh, make a new one. So they started showing me a new design of the same thing that I'm, a different kind of design. And they want me to create um, or organize generators to go onto it. So like, it's not just going to be like you put your own crystals onto it. It's specific crystals. And they were showing me these like dragon eggs that I have to put onto it. And inside the dragon egg of the that's going to be made with it, there's the platonic solid for each each um, to represent each air, fire, earth, and water. And then ether goes in the middle. And um, so I ended up ordering all the supplies to create and make them. And there's specific crystals that go into each one. And there's you know different copper shavings and all this kind of stuff. Beeswax, they want me to use beeswax and literally seeds and flower like um, to come down to the forest and actually get like flower pieces and seeds and petals and stuff like that to mix into it. It's going to be really cool. And um, so that's, that, that came through and so like it's just like Every day, something new is, is, is coming through, and um, I'm just really enjoying, I'm just really enjoying um, this whole, like, connection with my universal um, self, and everything that, it, the source, it's universal source self, and so I thought it would be fun to um, take some time to... Connect with the the sort my source self with the source creator of all. We're all part of the source, and um, connect to see if I could come through with a collective message for everybody today. And so I really wanted to see like what direction that they were going for, and I don't know how it's going to work, but I've got one card that says lost compass, getting back to integrity. So there's a compass. I think they want me to focus on a compass for some reason. And um, and then the cities of light. The inner earth cities of light. And um, I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I know I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I really don't. Um, so I'm just going to um, connect and see where they take us. Where where this, where my the source aspect are. My higher aspects. Um, connect us to and um, see what happens. So I think it ought to be interesting. So I'm just going to look at the cards um, as I start to focus in. I just really want to look at this compass. Um, So I close my eyes. The light is showering down, the sunlight is showering down over me, over all of us. And I see this eye. There is an eye. The eye of Horus. Or the Ra. Whatever you want to call it. I'm seeing an eye and they're having me focus in on this eye. Let's see where the eye takes us.
seem to be walking through, I think, a valley. There's two mountainy hills coming up on each side. And I'm walking through the middle. I see myself walking and there's a compass and they're make the compass they're saying use your inner compass use your inner compass to go and direct where we are going to go today and I'm seeing like all these different choices and it's actually quite confusing and it's hard to choose which direction to go to today. There's many paths and the arrow is like pointing all over the place. What to choose? Anakaya natya natyasha natakaya nakanaya nakaya this is the source creator, your source self. Look at this. Look at what you're looking at. It's like you have so many choices and so many directions and you don't know what to choose. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being in my place, in the area of the builder, in the area of the source, watching you, and the confusion of all the directions that you would like to go, yet you cannot choose one area, one path, and you're so indecisive people, you humans are so indecisive. You all want to move to the new, year, new earth. There are so many of you that want to move to this new earth, this new earth timeline, and you're waiting for it to happen. You're waiting for this timeline to just appear in front of you. But yet, you don't know what you want. You don't know what colors that you want to have. What what is it going to look like there? What is what do you want to manifest? What kind of new word? There's no everybody is like they want it to happen. And they're waiting for this to happen. But none of you are choosing which direction to go. How can we help you? How can we, your guides, help you create a new earth? When you're so indecisive as to what it is that you want. It's so confusing. How can we help you? We want to help you. But most of you are just running around in circles. Not even able to create what it is you want in your own personal life, let alone creating a new earth in, through collective consciousness. If you want to create a new earth, it's time to compose yourselves. It's time to maneuver your compass and to set the direction with integrity. Stop wasting time, dear ones. How do you start doing this, you ask? You put one foot in front of the other and you make decisions. Start in your own life. 
Begin creating who you want to be, how you want to live, and your surroundings. Create it in your mind, dear ones. Create it in your mind. Remember, you have the choice as to what you create. It's time to start creating consciously. How do you do this? Well, first of all, you need to decide what it is that you want. And you really need to sit down with this. Kind of make yourself, if it makes it easier for you, create a vision board. Create a vision board of what you would like to manifest in your life. Really focus and hone in on exactly what you want to create. Right down to the colors and the shape of everything. In every single little minute detail. If you want to create a retreat, as Robin does, you need to create the retreat center first. Create the building. Where do you want it to be? Where's the location? What do you want to provide at the retreat? What kind of retreat is it going to be? All of these things need to be decided on and you need to focus. And really put forward what you would like to manifest. Right down to, do you need to bring your towels? <laughs> do you need to cook your own food? What is it that you need to do? Everything is possible, dear ones. Everything is possible. Robin wants to create not just a retreat. She wants to create a retreat center for many retreats to happen. She worries about how it's going to manifest because she has no money. Remember, everything is possible. Your job is to create it, to imagine it, to bring it in. Your job is not to figure out how it's going to happen. That's our job. That's the builder's job. That's the source creator's job. And your guides to help you bring forward what you want to create. But before you, before we can bring anything forward, you need to be clear. That's all you need to do. Let's be clear and figure out what the heck you humans want in your life. And when you start creating for your own personal selves, then move out wider and form into groups of people who want to create and start manifesting bigger things. This is how the new earth will form. Not sitting around waiting for something to happen. Use your compass, dear ones. Your inner compass. To guide you. In the direction. Of the path. 
that you wish to go? This is all we have for you today. Contemplate on this message and think about it. We're sending you all off with much love. And know we are here, waiting for you to decide your reality. So that was our message from the Creator, which I find quite interesting because I was listening to um, a few days ago um, a session that Alison Co put up on her website or on her YouTube channel. And I'm going to put a link up in this description of this video um, of this because it explains about the builder, the creators and the builders. And it's very interesting. Um, and it might help you decide, help you start deciding what it is that you want to create in your life just by listening to it. Um, so I'm going to tack that on to the end. And also, I would just want to... Um, invite all of you who would like to come to the next masterclass in person. That's happening this Sunday I, on May 29th, 1 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. GMT. And I will put the link um, as to how to get into the Zoom room so you can get yourself a, a spot inside the, the masterclass that's all about the Merkaba. If you're really interested in activating your Merkaba and using it in a conscious way and a little bit more detail about astral travel and um, biolocation and the, um, what you call it, the platonic solids, if you'd like to learn more about it. The class really goes deep into that and the procedure um, comes through and there's a, med there's a channeling from Metatron as well. So if you'd like to come to that, if you are seeing this after the class already happens, um, you can still avail of it because I am going to be putting it into my um, my library of spiritual tools. And all of the classes that I have, all the master classes that I've been teaching this year are all available to go back and, um, and, and view and use. Like, um, and I'll be putting a special in there. So once this class happens today, um, I will be putting a special in. So if you really don't care about coming to the class and being there with me and talking to me or anything like that and you just want to um, uh, want to be able to have the material that's coming through in these classes um, I'm going to be putting together like bundles so um, the six bundles will be coming in for like half price so that you can avail of them the recordings and everything is going to be there and it will stay there and you can always go back and, and, and use these um, tools as you go forward. So if you just found me now and you wish that you had taken even all the other classes, because there's 12 in the series this year, um, uh, if you really would like to come and um, be a part of that. And then if you would also like to be involved in the Lemurian Pleiadian Starseed Circle that's happening once a month, it's like a group. Uh, light infusion day where we run energy the way they did back in the times of Lemuria. If you would like to be involved in all of that, don't just wait around. Just come, let me know. Go to my website and um, everything is there on, on my website and you can avail of all of, all of that and um, there's tons of, of procedures that I've created and everything is there as a free offering. Um, so just come on over. And that's all I have to really say about that. And um, if you would like to have a private session with me, I still do private sessions um, where I channel a special message for you. I come down and crystal gaze in the water for you. And, um, and I take you on like a little bit of a, a journey. Um, to your healing chamber so if you would like to have a personal uh, private session as well 
all of that is located on my website. So until then, I will say love you. <coughs> I'm coughing. And leave you for another day. And I'm going to sit here by the water and um, maybe do a little bit of a meditation before I walk back up to the house. And um, if you really enjoyed this video, can you help me by putting comments on my YouTube channel, not on the Facebook page? If you're seeing this on Facebook, please go over to my YouTube channel and um, help me um, get my message out a little bit more uh, by making a comment inside will help a lot because when you make a comment the algorithms start saying oh people are watching this video so then more people get to watch it um, if you say not if you watch it and you say nothing you're not helping other people be able to find it so um, and you're not helping me out either because it just sits there and then nobody sees the video. So could you help me out with that and um, like and subscribe. <laughs> I really could use some help with that to get some momentum going on the page. So I love you. I'm going to leave you. And have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And we're coming up to the weekend now. So enjoy your weekend as well. Sending you much love. Oh, and if you want to sign up for the class this weekend and you want to get there, you need to actually sign up by the end of Saturday um, in order to be able to make sure that you get the link um, the, so that you can get the link. So just make sure you sign up by Saturday. Sending you much love. In Masterclass number 6 of Bringing Forward the New Golden Age of Miracles, Robin Nicole will be helping you to understand Merkaba technology and the role platonic solids play in activating your Merkaba. She will also help you understand the differences between astral travel, bilocation, and teleportation, followed by a special channeling from Metatron along with a guided procedure to help you consciously activate your Merkaba to begin to travel to other realms of existence while fully awake and conscious. If you would like to learn more about how the Merkaba can facilitate conscious astral travel and be more aware of what is happening in dream time, this is a class you will not want to miss. This class will be happening live in a private Zoom room on Sunday, May 29th at 1 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. GMT. If you wish to participate, please click on the link that is in the description of this video for more information.